Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Boxing Outdoors. Today, I have a good treat for y'all. Tackle warehouse order just come in. So we're going to be unboxing that. Also, I want to show y'all a few uh, new rods that I picked up that I'm going to be testing out. Uh, <clears throat> first one up <clears throat> is this bad boy right here. Uh, this one right here is a Cast King. And uh, anyways, it's got some real cool rubber grip handles. Uh, uh, it's uh, the Cast King's uh, Cryexus, I believe that's how you say it, and uh, it's a 7 to 2, 1 gear ratio, and uh, so anyways, I had, uh, I have two rods that I don't have reels for, and I wanted one to put on there. Because, you know, I've got some 13 fishing, I've got some Shimano's, I've got some favorites, uh, I've got some Lou's, and, uh, so anyways, I wanted to try the Cast Kings, I've heard a lot of good things about this, uh, so anyways, I'm gonna put it to the test and see what happens, I wanna see if it's really worth what little bit of money I paid for, I think I paid $50 for it, is all. And, uh, it's a really nice looking reel. I mean, as you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's got a lot of blue in it, which I really like. The inside of the spool's got blue in it. And, uh, yeah. And I put this on a medium heavy 7 foot, uh, 3 8 to 1 ounce. And, uh, put 10 pound line on there. But... Anyway, we're going to be trying that one out. <clears throat> and then also, pick me up a new spinning rod. I'm going to be using this one for drop shotting and Ned rigs. And any kind of light stuff like that. But anyways, this is uh, the Xfinity Speed Stick. <clears throat> anyways, I was at Walmart yesterday. And just happened to be walking around, looking around at fishing stuff, and they had this marked down for twenty dollars, and it's originally fifty-five dollars. So twenty bucks, I jumped on it. And uh, like I said, I was looking for a, a new uh, drop shot Ned rig combo, and with lose, you really can't ever go wrong. Uh, you know, they got the wind grip on there, real nice, comfortable reel, so we'll be putting this one to the test. In other words, I like it, real green, other than a little bit of white, but, uh, really nice rod and real combo. For 20 bucks, you cannot beat that. I was almost about to buy the 13 Fishings Creed. And I seen this and I was like, 20 bucks, I can't pass that up. So, anyways, we are going to be trying that out this weekend. Uh, I hope that y'all are having a good 4th of July uh, weekend. Me and my wife are going to head up to her parents and they got a big lake out that way. So I'm going to go out there and do some fishing. I'm going to make y'all some fishing videos fish with some of this stuff and hopefully bring y'all back a good video and uh anyways that brings me to my next step anyways whenever i bought that reel that cast king's reel <coughs> i ended up getting another one like I said, I was looking for a spinning rod. So anyways, I ended up with this. Real nice. Real spinning reel. 
nothing wrong with it brand new in the box it's a, a four to five one gear ratio it's a four thousand it's got a nine plus one bearing uh anyways we are going to be doing a giveaway for that and we're going to be doing it in this video so you better get in on this giveaway if you want a new reel uh i'm gonna run this for a month so uh let's just say from july 4th to uh july august uh from from july 4th to august 4th will be the drawing and all you all you have to do to uh enter is uh what's your favorite rod and reel combo you know like uh or a favorite type of rod or reel that you like to use but anyways so this is going to be the giveaway uh i'm going to run it for a month so subscribe comment and uh get in on the giveaway we're gonna run it for a month i mean nice reel so i'm not gonna do it just for a week uh anyway so for a month so august 4th i will be sending this out to whoever wins and like i said it's a good reel i ain't used it it's brand new in the box like i said i opened it up and i seen it's a 4000 which is a little bit bigger of a bass reel than what I like to use, but still nothing less brand new reel. Uh, so anyways, get in on that. Like I said, just leave a comment with your uh, favorite type of rod and reel or favorite combo. <coughs> so now let's get into this box right here, Tackle Warehouse, and let's see what we got and as you can tell this is a big box and uh it's gonna be kind of a long video we're already almost 10 minutes into it so i'll, I'll try to go through it as quick as i can sticker I guess I might have to start sending those out to y'all uh, so anyways let's uh, dive into this first up we got some uh, Beast Coast uh, these are called the Flippin Delight uh, the color is Dirty Bug and they're 3.8 inches long this is a new creature bait from them. I like their, uh, that other one they have, the Marauder. I like that one, so I figure we'll give this one a shot. I do like the new clamshell. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you can get into it, maybe. Let's see here. Well, they definitely done a good job on the clamshell. So anyways, here you go. It almost looks like the Pit Boss. It's a two-tone color. You got like a green pumpkin on one side and then mm, some blue on the other. Definitely has sense. It's got the hook slot for it. But definitely a good looking bait. Uh, don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, and like I said, I like their new clamshells. That's pretty cool. It ain't too bulky. You get, looks like five of them in a pack. Alright, so 
got that. Next up, we got some Storm Largo Shad. I have never fished these. I've seen a lot of these. Uh, this one's the Live Thread Fin. It's a six count. These are four inches long. And, uh, man, that, that picture on there looks really good. I like it. Storm makes some really good stuff. So, anyways, look at that, dude. You can see, I mean, it's really imprinted in there. Uh, you got your hook slot. Right there, uh, you got your little boot tail, and the cool thing is, from what I've heard from Jacob Wheeler, is see you can see there's a little line there. You can cut that off, and it makes it either more erratic or it makes it more subtle. I can't remember which one's which, but anyways, there it is, and you got your hook slide on top. That's your Storm Largo sheds. Those are really cool. I like those. And that's in live shunt, live thread friend shed. Alright, so next up we have a new one from Six Cents. This one is called the Crude 3.0. Color is gravel crawl and it's in an 8 pack. Alright, so look at this little dude. This right here is their version of a tube. It looks like a little crawfish. It's hollow bellied. And then there's a solid part right here for your hook. But you can tell. Kind of wide bodied. But it's got all them appendages on there. Two tone colored. Really cool. I like it. Got some six cent smell on there. Uh, six cents has been coming out with some pretty cool stuff. I don't know what happened to that package, but it looks like it got like sealed or something. I don't know. But, anyways, that's the six cents there. Next up, we have some Missile Baits D Bomb. This one is in the Bayou Flash. Six count. And, uh,. So anyways, we got some D-Bomb. You get six of them. And check that dude out. Purple on one side, and then it's a brighter purple on the other side with some glitter. Really cool looking bait, you know, ribbed. Definitely smells good. I like it. Like I said, I'm not going to take very long on these because there's a little bit of stuff in this box. Next up, we have D-Man Darter Z Smoky Shed uh, 5 pack. And these are 6 inches long. These are really cool. Anyways, so here you go. A real long, like, fluke style bait. Real flat on the top. It's segmented. It's got the hook slots for it. Uh, this right here will <clears throat> make a good trailer. You can fish it like a fluke, or you can fish it, you know, in a bunch of different ways. But... Anyways, that is the the Dark Z, and them are six inches long. If I'm not mistaken. I think I have another pack of these somewhere, but you never have enough. Z man last a long time. Anyways, next up we have ooh some bass assassin bang lures. 
called the Tap Out Six Cent Choco or Chico's Red Ear 20 Count Six Inch Enhanced with Liquid Salt New Color called the Tap Out from Bass Assassin. And of course, they have a I hate when they do that. I didn't mess this up too bad. Oh well. Anyways, here it is. Pretty cool little worm. It's got like a big old bubbly tail down here. And uh, two-toned. Like a green pumpkin with some yellow in it. Blue glitter. Really nice. And... You can't beat that, man. 20 of them in a pack. And, uh, shoot, I think they were only $4.99. And actually, I got them on sale, so that wasn't even that much. If I can get them to seal back up. Anyway, there's nothing after that. Next up. We got some, uh, cool print. Oh yeah, these are my water dragons. I bought some more water dragons. These are June Bug Red. Made by cool print. Wanna check these out. These are right here, pretty cool. The water dragon. And this is June Bug Red. Really cool bait. I'm going to be throwing this around quite a bit. I like a lizard. Uh, so I'll be throwing them around. That's why I got some more. I think I ordered a couple of packs. I think I, because I have a couple of more orders coming. So, anyways, we got those. Next up, we got some Six Cents. Uh, these are the Stroker Crawl 2.4 Black and Blue Flake. These are those little bitty guys. I can't get over how little those little guys are. They make the perfect little Ned rig though. But little bitty guys. So we really got that. So now that I make my second package of them. I'll actually go ahead and hang them up right here along with my other ones. Next up, we got some uh, Chase Baits, Curly Baits, and Milk Flash. Y'all have seen these before. I've gotten quite a few of these, but anyways, I got the Milk Flash color. Uh, got like a goldish uh, bottom to it that's clear with a white top and you can see i mean you can pretty much see what's going on that's a big ass wind tail curly tail minnow next up we got some uh flip-flops and blood gold really cool baits they got those little wings on them and uh four and a quarter inches long uh, I'll get one of these out and show it to you just in case you're new to the channel but this blood gold I really like this color you can see the little wing really cool color Anyways, like I said, if you're wanting any kind of, th any, uh, 13, I mean, not 13 fishing, but chase baits, 
Better get on six uh, on tackle warehouse and get you some while they're on sale. Cause not they'll be expensive before long. Uh, I got some uh love bug and this one's an apple juice. Really cool color. I'll show that one to you. Kind of a clear yellow. style bait and believe me they make they put a lot of uh, scent on their baits they are all leaf next up we got some chase baits paddle tails and these are in milk flash so now I should have milk flash and all of them. I think I got them in the flaccid shed and that. Next up, we got some more Bass Assassin Bang Lures. Uh, 12 count, four and a half inch. This is the little, the little Tapper and Okeechobee Crow. Sorry guys, I just don't like not being able to hang up stuff. But look at this little dude. This is a big old, it's got like a fat end up there. And then it goes skinny and then it gets fat again. That's pretty cool. I like their Okeechobee crawl color too. Really nice looking bait. I like it. And like I said, you get 12 of them, and uh, they're four and a half inches. Next up, we got some Lunker Hunt finesse baits. Uh, this one's in Morning Dawn. This is their little finesse bait. Kind of flat on one side, which is this side right here. And then on the other side, it's got like a round. Pretty cool. Neat looking little dude. I don't know if it floats or what, but they had them on sale, so I got them. And they were in morning dawn, and I don't have a whole lot of stuff in the morning dawn color. And a lot of people have been telling me, get you some morning dawn, especially whenever it comes to finesse fishing. All right, next up, y'all know me. If y'all know anything about me now, you know I like my lizards. So I got me some new lizards. Get the staple out of here. But anyways, these are the Molex, uh, Molex, uh, Blood Pumpkin, designed and en engineered by Molex in Italy, uh, but anyways, these are a real neat looking, looking little lizard, get that staple out. Let's check these bad boys out. This is in Blood Pumpkin. Alright, so this comes in like a double clamshell. Alright, so look at this little dude. Got a weird texture to it. Got a big old tail on it. Got these little legs. Got a hook slot for it as well. Kind of, I mean, it's pretty durable plastic. It's got smell to it. 
but anyways it almost feels like sandpaper definitely a cool cool color But, anyways, that is that. And that's uh, the 6-inch Lizard. That's all it says. Uh, realistic skin texture. Rib body, belly, lifelike vibration. But, there we go. About to run out of room up here. Next up, we got some more Grande Bass uh, G-Sticks. These are in black and blue. I'm not going to get these out. I've already showed y'all some of these. So I got some more of them. And then some, uh, these are in watermelon red. So I've got all of them colors now. That's all the colors they make of those. Okay, uh, we got some, uh, Arsenal Assault Bugs 4.3. These are in peppered pumpkin. These are pretty cool. Little bait. Big old flappers on them. Got that rib rib body with a hard top to it. Really nice bait. I've heard a lot of good things about these uh, arsenal baits. So when they had them on sale, I went ahead and grabbed a couple of packages. Here's some more Arsenal. These are the four and a half inch Tactical Minnow. This one's in uh, Dirty Oil. Dirty Oil. That's pretty cool. Looks like almost like mo motor oil. I guess I just called it dirty oil. A little bit darker. And it's got a scent to it. Not a bad scent though. Alright, so. Me and my lizard self. I bought these. These are brand new to the market. Y'all probably never seen them. Or might, might not. Maybe you have. But uh, let's see if I can get them out of here. They're made by Fish Labs. And uh, anyways, here they are. Check these dudes out. These are uh, the Slamamander, six inch. They're supposed to represent a uh, a Hellbender. Which you know by law you can't fish with uh, Hellbenders anymore or, or water dogs or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so they made these and the real cool thing about these are these are actually designed to be swim instead of just get these out there's a lot going on here y'all are gonna kind of freak out about these But anyways, as you can see, they got these, the skirting on there that makes for like their gill plates. Little hell, hell, hell benders. And uh, they're a pretty big profile bait. I mean, it's not a small bait at all. Got that long tail and then you can see it's wide and then you got that boot tail. It's made to be run along the bottom real slow or you can just swim it through the water like a fleeing 
hellbender would do. But anyways, I thought that was real, real cool. Probably one of my favorite lizards or salamanders, whatever you want to call them, out. They got the fish lab clint to them. And the color of this is... Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, oh yeah, uh, purple, purple and brown. So, or no, no, it's PB and J. The PB and J. That's right. So, anyways, I thought those were real cool. Those are all. These are kind of on the expensive side, but they are a new released item. So, they are going to be kind of expensive. I am kind of curious to see how those are going to work. Never know. Could be the next big thing, you know. But, anyways, they come in a good sized clamshell. They're protected really well. And, uh, like I said, can't go wrong with that. I'll have to staple this back together until I use it because that clamshell ain't staying closed very well. But anyways, I thought y'all might like that. That's pretty cool. I like them. Uh, got two more baits left. Alright, so this is the Bomber Flat A and uh believe it or not this is a brand new bomber these are their new line this one's pearl purple pearl au and uh it is real real flat you can see i mean it's a real flat sided crankbait anyways these are 3.99 they got a whole line of them going on uh different different sizes different depths for 3.99 and then I got the KVD 1.5 in Sexy Shed. So, anyways, that is it, y'all. That was a big box. Uh, anyways, like I said, get in it on that giveaway. Leave your favorite rod combo. Or you can, uh, you know, put on there what your favorite bait was in the box that you would like to try or you know anyways so but i would really be interested in what your favorite combo is uh favorite type of rod and reel or whatever but anyways y'all that is the video i hope y'all enjoyed watching this uh and like always i will see y'all on the next one